It's a dog-eat-dog world out there. You need to look out for yourself. In the depths of this recession, we hear this sigh of frustration on a daily basis. But even at the bottom of the downturn, great business success is often predicated on exactly the opposite. There are sound, practical business reasons to be guided by generosity and concern for the other guy in your daily dealings. In fact, go-givers often outperform go-getters, whether the Dow is up or down. This exact sentiment is the theme of The Go-Giver, a parable by Bog Berg and John David Mann, one of our 2007 bestsellers that continues to fly off the bookstore shelves even today. Many business leaders have given copies of The Go-Giver to each and every one of their employees and customers. We now have The Practical Companion in their new book, Go-Givers Sell More, which is a call to action and one of the most powerful sales tools of all time. Its message cannot be forgotten even in the midst of a recession. You'll hear more from Bog Berg later in the podcast. One of our most intriguing and successful authors, Seth Godin, has shown time and again that generosity of spirit is a powerful secret weapon. In fact, you could say that generosity is what drives much of Seth's work. His continuous efforts to challenge the business community feature a thread of selflessness that finds him new fans every day. When we published his book, Tribe, Seth established a private social network to help teach the tenets of the book. He has continued to give time and effort to the network many months after its publication to support the individuals who continue to derive value from his participation and advice. In addition, for the last nine years, Seth has been a passionate advocate of Jackie Novogratz's Ackerman Fund, which fosters entrepreneurship throughout the developing world. His new book, Lynchpin, is about creating an indispensable relationship with the people you work with. When we were talking to Seth about the marketing plan, he came up with an idea to reward people who were generous and donated money to the Acumen Fund. The plan was for his readers to donate a small amount to the fund in exchange for a sneak peek at his new book. And it was a huge success. Thousands of people donated more than the minimum than they needed to because Seth was consciously adding value to their interaction. They weren't just customers buying a book. Rather, they were contributing to a worthwhile cause. One of the fundamental principles in Lynchpin, as he writes, is that every day I meet people who have so much to give but have been bullied enough or frightened enough to hold it back. It's time to stop complying with the system and draw your own map. You have brilliance in you. Your contribution is essential, and the art you create is precious. Only you can do it, and you must. It's something that I'm trying to remember every day. The key to motivating my employees and improving our performance as a book publisher is not through stinginess and cost-cutting, but through generosity of spirit.